So this plow plane here is the first tool I'm going to restore from the from the set of tools I got in the tool chest. You can see that the the wood is not too bad, but the all the metal on the on the plane is pretty bad. Lots of rust, lots of dirt. Um, I actually like the patina of the wood, so I'm not going to really do too much with that. But uh, the metal definitely needs some work. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually try some cutting with the plow plane as it's been sitting here for my guess is at least 20 years. It's probably been sitting in that old tool chest for, for at least 20 years. And so I'm going to see what it can do just the way it is, just the way it was left sitting. So I've got a piece of pine here and I'm actually pretty surprised at how well it cut right off the bat. Now I have no experience using this kind of tool so you know trying to figure out my hand holding position and stuff like that but there you go I mean the cutting is pretty phenomenal right off the bat. So we're just going to speed things up here and get ourselves a groove but this tool did just fine making a groove just the way it was. So really all I'm trying to do here is is clean up the metal, make sure that uh you know we stop any existing rust and um just polish things up a little bit. But you can see that's perfectly fine groove right there that I could have, you know, made off on all four sides and had a, you know, a drawer bottom groove. So now I'm taking the tool apart. Um, it's actually a very, very simple tool to, to take apart. Just a couple of things to unscrew. Then the entire side comes off. This side here acts as the, the stop or the fence on the one side as you're holding it up against the piece where you're cutting the groove. The next piece to come off here, this is our depth stop. So you can see there's a little wing nut that holds this metal depth stop in place. Um, this one's actually a little stuck, I guess, from, from the years of just sitting. But you can see a little push and, and it comes apart. But here's, we've got some rust on the, uh, on the piece holding the depth stop and a little bit on the depth stop as well. But you, you can see it needs a little needs a little care. I believe that's a brass wing nut. And then pretty simple to just pull out the washer, pull out the uh, the bolt and this flat piece that's holding this depth stop in place and then that depth stop comes right off. And pretty pretty simple piece. Finally take off these additional adjustment knobs. These knobs help to position that other fence so that you can actually control the position of the groove on the edge of the board. You can move that in and out as far as those threaded rods will take you. Here's our wedge and then our actual cutting iron. The cutting iron's probably the, the worst piece as far as having rust on it just dirt but we're gonna try to make quick work of that and then here's the actual body of the plane also with some rust so now we've got the whole thing taken apart and the first thing I think we need to do here is to uh, get some rust off so I got a little container Grab some vinegar. I've seen some people do this in other videos and vinegar seems to do the trick. So I grabbed some vinegar and I dropped everything that was rusty into the vinegar. Now I didn't actually leave this sit very long. I, I put most of these parts in and then I just started working on the on the depth stop. And only in the time that it took me to get the, the dirt and rust off the stop did I let these other parts actually sit? So here you can see me going at this depth stop with, it looks like a Scotch-Brite pad. I got it at a sharpening class that I went to, but I also used, it wasn't really aggressive enough. So I used some 600 grit sandpaper that I had from a turning pack that, that I have. This seemed to work pretty well. It got a lot of the, a lot of the dirt and, and rust off. And then the, the uh, pad was able to help polish things up a little bit. So this piece actually ended up coming out pretty well. I got I got all the, the dirt and grime off, got through all the rust. This was by far the the, more, the most challenging part. 
but it came out pretty good here you can see it's all polished up nice and shiny and just applied some WD-40 and then wiped that off just to try to stop any future rust from happening then all the individual parts doing the wing nut here just polishing that up with some with some steel wool some 4 aught steel wool and that came out pretty good nice and shiny there and just a small uh, washer that was used to hold that depth stop as well washer comes out pretty clean no problems now we're going to start on our first iron and again just a very quick cut clean I should say and you can see the bottom there the the irons all have the name Ward W-A-R-D stamped into them um, appears to be an English company and so I was actually taking the blade and taking the iron and flattening it on some sandpaper that I glued down to a piece of granite first and then once that was flat across the whole bottom I took it to the the three Shapton stones that I have just kind of polishing things up this was probably the mistake the first mistake that I made uh, these plow plane blades don't really need to be that super sharp and here I'm stropping it um, they really don't need to be that sharp and which is probably why it worked so well right right from the beginning um, they don't need that sharpness but I made that thing pretty razor sharp and then I just threw a little bit of paste wax on the wood to kind of just keep it get a little bit of coating on it but I didn't want to change the look at all so it was very very light coat just to kind of clean things up a little bit and then I uh, started putting putting the thing back together um, it's a very basic very basic actually way of putting things back together um, everything's cleaned up coated with WD-40 the uh, depth stop is now actually you know sliding much easier than it did before and here I'm just about done getting it back together here's the uh, the actual fence part of it getting the knobs back on you can see the wood shining a little bit from the paste wax now but there's the tool shined up trying to reset the iron and there you have it one cleaned up plow plane so now I'm gonna stick another board back into the vise here and try this out and I think that I did over sharpen that blade it's it's not cutting as well as it did before but that's easily fixed we can we can dull that up a little bit but here's the rest of the blades all clean and I'm happy with how the tool came out thanks for watching